In our first example, we have data from Alaska, Florida, and Texas, so three different samples, um, measuring the acidity of rainfall in those different states. So we want to test the claim that there's a difference in the average acidity of rainfall in these states. So the first step is to assess normality. We've worked through multiple examples of that. <clears throat> So I'll leave that for you to verify, but for Alaska, you should get a p-value of 0.4446. For Florida, you should get a p-value of 0.1837. And for Texas, a p-value of 0.1227. So you should be able to generate those p-values using the Shapiro-Wilk test and draw the appropriate conclusion that each of our data sets comes from a normally distributed population. So the next step, is to verify that all three populations have equal variances or standard deviations. So to do that with our data, excuse me, already typed into StatCrunch, we'll select Stat, Summary Stats, and then Columns, and we'll select Variables 1 through 3. So we can compare either variance or standard deviation Standard deviation is just going to be easier because the numbers will be smaller. So we'll look at those values. So we generate our list of standard deviations, which in this case is 0 0.25, 0 0.28, 0 0.39, or 0 0.40, depending on if we round that up. So what we need to do is take our largest standard deviation, divide it by our smallest standard deviation, and verify that that is something less than or equal to 2. So taking the ratio of the largest standard deviation to the smallest standard deviation, we get, in this case, 0 0.397 divided by 0 0.252, which will equal 1.58, which is less than or equal to 2. So we can assume that all three populations have equal variances. So we assess normality. We verified the equal variances by taking the ratio of those two standard deviations. So since the conditions are met, to conduct an ANOVA test, we'll test the following hypotheses. So our null hypothesis will be the statement that mu1 equals mu2 equals mu3. And our alternative hypothesis will be the statement that at least one mean is different. So to get the ANOVA test, we'll select STAT, ANOVA, and we'll only be looking at the one-way ANOVA test in this class. We'll select all three data values. The hypotheses are always the same for an ANOVA test, so there's nothing else that we have to establish here, and click Compute. So in the ANOVA table, on the very right-hand column here, we'll get our p-value of 0. 0.0135. So our p-value is 0 0.0135, which is less than our value for alpha, which in this case is 0 0.05. So we reject the null hypothesis. There is sufficient evidence to conclude that at least one of the population means is different from the others. So a downside to this test is that we don't know which one. We ended up in this case rejecting the null hypothesis. That means that the average acidity of rainfall in one of these areas is different, but we don't know which one. So we could call this a limitation or problem with the test. 
So in this case, the results of the ANOVA don't tell us which area has higher or lower. We don't know which one. It could be that the mean is higher, it could be that the mean is lower. Don't doesn't tell us which area has higher or lower levels of acidity in their rainfall. And doesn't tell us if just one mean is different or if all the means are different. So with the ANOVA test, and it'll be the same with the Kruskal-Wallis test, if we fail to reject the null hypothesis, we get a meaningful conclusion. We conclude that all of those means or all those medians are equal to each other. The averages are the same. But if we reject that, the alternative hypothesis can be a little bit unfulfilling because it doesn't really lead us to a very specific conclusion, sort of more of a vague statement that would probably require some additional investigation to figure out which population is the one that's different. Are they all different? Is it just one of them that's different? So it's a conclusion, but one that probably would mean additional work in a practical setting, in a, in a real world application of this.